Well, today I have to change this compressor right here. Nice brand new compressor. And it's got to go on that walk-in cooler. And I have to bring all this material up on the top. And this is what it takes. It's got my got my tool pouch, got this dryer filter, compressor, refrigerant gas, reclaimer, reclaiming tanks. I gotta take the 22 out. I'm gonna put 407F in there. Got my um, vacuum pump, my vacuum gauge. Um, if I drop it, I got a light in here. Electrical cord, um, temperature meter, ropes, and a rag. And now I have to get started. I have to get all this up on top of that cooler in there. Okay, we got all the all the stuff up here on the uh, top of the walking cooler to work on it. And I was just getting ready to. These fans are staying on because there's a uh, control circuit for these two compressors and it's run off, run off the uh, this power source. So these are live right now so I have to be careful of them. Um, I want to show you something. They just had a problem with the transformer. Now, now I was going to hook up my light. to a ground and let me just show you Let's see the uh, amp rope here but normally for three phase you would have L1, L2 and L3 would be about 110 volts each 110, 110, 110 and across any either one of them you would have you know uh, 208 but they changed the transformer and look what we got. On this light we have 65. On L2 we have 198. On L3 we have 168. before I bur you burn up uh, drills that eat and things like that real easy or vacuum pumps or I burned a drill up one time and a fan motor up one time they uh, you know to keep yourself cool uh, and you have to watch out for this they'll add up to 230 208 volts though let me show you that if I go to L1 to L2 L1 to L2 I've got 230 volts, and L1 to L3, I've got 232 volts, and L2 to L3, I've got 230 volts. It's, uh, I'm starting to run into this a little bit more often. You want to check the voltages before you ever jump out. I had to run an electric line all the way down. Now I have to reclaim the refrigerant. That's what I'm doing right now. We're reclaiming right now. We're taking the 22 out and putting it into this tank. noisy up here okay I'm checking the refrigerant I took refrigerant 22 out of here put it into my tank and I've got it set on 22 I got in a tank I have 216 pounds pressure and my condensing temperature is 107 for refrigerant 22 at 216 pounds pressure and the temperature I have in there is 100 is 98. I put the two probes on there, 99. One re 
one is reading 98, one's reading 99. And so that's uh, two, so that's like eight degrees difference. Now, I pull a vacuum on this tank before I uh, put anything in it. And I don't know, that shows me that the refrigerant just deteriorated over the, uh, the years that it was in here. This compresses from 05. So if it was in there for that many years, um, I, I personally, I don't think got air in the system at all, but, um, and I don't have air in the tank because I emptied it out. But I just personally feel that the uh, refrigerant deteriorated a bit. It's not as efficient as it was when it was, you know, chemically as it was when it was brand new, either through leaks or whatever. Okay. Okay, I got the compressor, new compressor in, the old compressor out. And I've got to connect my eye side line. I believe I have to use that uh, reducing coupling in here to hit three eighths. Compressor brazed in. Brazed it look pretty okay. up the suction and discharge uh, ports to the uh, pressure control. I'm pulling a vacuum on it right now. I changed the dryer filter. I dated it. The old one. Put nylog on my fittings. I like to use nylog on my uh, vacuum fittings but I don't really like it on dryer filters I I prefer uh, leak lock I have more confidence in leak lock but for a couple minutes I'll be charging it up now I have to wire it now the other one The other one had this wire on it. it. Has three wires. It's three phase. The new one has a plug on it. So I just have to come off the bottom of the contactor uh, with this, and it's just L1, L2, L3. It's very simple. I'm going to work on that now. But be careful. There's that crack monster there. You lose your tools down those things. They don't come back. Okay. So we're dropping pretty fast in the vacuum. Okay, I wired, wired this in. Down here. T1, T2, and T3. filter and if you can see that but we're down to 255 and I'm going to leave it there and I'll close everything off and now I'm going to add gas to it I took the old uh, Schraders out, and I'm going to put new ones in, the nice fresh new ones.
pressure in the system now. disappeared so it means I don't have too much gas in there and I don't and I don't have not enough just right and the inner's running we're doing good that pressure stabilized sight glass is full Operator's 21, should be 20, that's fine. That looks good, sounds good. Liquid line feels very comfortable. The liquid line should be a little bit warmer than room temperature, that's how I usually always judge it. And the suction line should be cool. Looks good. Everything's fine. Well, this is how the day ends. Back on the loading dock and into the truck. That was a little bit of fun today. Okay, guys. Later. <laughs>